Hi everybody and welcome to week four. I'm a little late on this one, but um, I think I have a decent excuse here. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I had every intention of going down to New Orleans because one of my favorite bars on the planet, it's called uh, Tin Roof. At the top of the Pontchartrain Hotel uh, was opening back up to public after the whole um, uh, pandemic thing. Anyhow, I went down there. Let me show you what I did. I was set up to shoot some pretty good video, and I go up and I take the uh, initial shots just to make sure I've got everything framed right and see what the sound is like. And I'll tell you what happened here in just a second. So here, let me take a let's take a look at um, take a look at this place. Okay, here's the Poncha Train. It is on St. Charles Avenue in uh, the Garden District, and here we are walking in. You can see this view here. You can kind of get a feel for what kind of a hotel it is. It's it's very unique, uh, boutique. Now, American Horror Stories was filmed here. NCIS New Orleans is filmed here. And by the way, I was on the third episode. Pitbull and Parolis is here. Um, Jay and Silent Bob's reboot was here. Of course, we've got Benjamin Button with Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett. All filmed here. Tom Cruise shoots a bunch of his stuff in this area, so does Mark Wahlberg, and this is a lousy picture, but you guys should know who this guy is, Matthew McConaughey. He actually has a house down there. And then there's this guy, Nicolas Cage. Now, Nick Cage, he had his own tomb built in uh, one of the New Orleans cemeteries. Everything's above water here, or above ground, because uh, the entire city of New Orleans is below sea level. So if they had anything below sea level, you know, graves below sea level, all the caskets would float. So they put all these, um, all these tombs up here like this. And he built this one, which is a pyramid. I would assume it's after his uh, series of films. But anyhow, he has a fascination with this area. And he's in the same uh, cemetery as the famed voodoo princess uh, Marie Laveau. That's hers right there. Now... Back into my bar here. This is my bar, the bar, which is uh, Ten Roof. It's on top of this particular hotel, and you can see how it looks here. I was looking around, and I was going to get uh, some some video here, talk to some of these bartenders about the layout of this particular bar. This is on a Friday afternoon, by the way. Uh, it's a unique bar. It's an island setup. Uh, that particular bartender right there, she's fantastic, just moved in from D.C. Uh, but there's all kinds of neat little layouts. You see where the, the glassware is back there? It's a pain in the tail, by the way. But with that shot, here it is on the outside. And you see there's the Superdome right there on the left. And it goes all the way over to the, uh, to the Mississippi River Bridge right there so some pretty cool stuff now this is what happens when they open it up this is about an hour later and i'm trying to get uh, audio here and i gotta tell you i couldn't get anything done couldn't get it shot so i went downstairs back to my room to try to and then i was going to come back up but i got stopped because um apparently i didn't stand in line there is a queuing line outside they don't let people who stay there get in line so uh, that line was two hours long. I'm looking for a production assistant. If you guys know anybody that wants to work with me and go to all these fun places, um, you know, let me know because I certainly need somebody to help me uh, video some of these things, work with the sound equipment, and basically be my assistant running around. So if you all know anybody that wants to do that for some kicks and giggles here and there, let me know. Okay, um, second thing as Tell me who's going to Vegas. I know a bunch of you guys are going to Vegas this summer. If you haven't already gone, let me know. I want to uh, I want to give you some advice, if you will, if you've never been. Um, I've done that before, so please let me know if you guys are going. Now, exam one, everybody did a pretty good job. At least I thought they did. Uh, for your first exam, normally I see a little, few lower grades on the first exam. But you get the idea on the... Um, on the format and how the uh, exam is laid out. It's pretty simple. Something I need to note here. In these videos, the videos that you're looking at right now, uh, they will be, uh, this is fair game for questions. So hope you guys are paying attention to these videos every week. Also, 
In the lecture videos, some of you have pointed out that um, I had announced a quiz within the lecture videos. That is a holdover from previous semesters. It does not apply to you guys. If there are any quizzes or assignments, they will come in this form, in this video, uh, the weekly ones that come out. So I hope you got that clear. Now exam, exam two, and we're covering the restaurant and the bar. It's gonna be the same format, and now you know what to expect. However, there's gonna be some questions thrown in there pertaining to um, these videos uh, on that exam. This will be published, the exam will be published. I'll put it together for Wednesday, that would be tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be due Saturday at midnight. Again, if you need extra time, please let me know in advance. Don't tell me Sunday that you needed extra time. Uh, you will not get it. Brewing a Better Way is a, uh, and I apologize for that off-center, is a um, webinar coming up and is put on by E. Cornell. They do a great job, and I thought you guys would enjoy uh, going through that. I sent that out in an announcement earlier. It is on Thursday, June 24th at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's noon our time. You know, grab a lunch. It doesn't last any more than an hour, but it allows you guys to ask questions to some industry leaders. And I thought you'd find this, uh, uh, you know, a worthwhile time. And no, before you ask, you're not going to be tested on it. I'm going to point you guys in the direction of two books that I think are fantastic pertaining to restaurants and bars. All right, the first one here is Setting the Table by Danny Meyer. He has built, he started his, uh, his, um, his career uh, in basically a small hot dog shop in uh, Times Square. He's built a fantastic company uh, out of that and this is one of the best selling books for people in the restaurant industry. The second one is, and I know this guy quite well, his name is Tillman Fertitta. He is the owner and founder of Landry's out of, out of Houston. This book is Shut Up and Listen. Now, we sold this, our company, Rainforest Cafe, to him. Believe it or not, my pastor married him and his wife. So, um, he also owns the Golden Nugget, and he owns the Houston Rockets and a few other things. But it's a pretty good, um, it's a good book for you guys to read if you want to get into this business as a career. And it is just about that, how we collectively listen, not only to our employees, but our customers and the market and those types of things. So he talks about some of his uh, uh, his philosophies in just in a way that's very unique to him. So uh, that's it. Again, apologies for being late on this. I hope you're paying attention to it. If you guys need anything, you know how to reach me. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm loving the interaction that we're having. If there's anything you think we can improve on, on my end, uh, please let me know. Um, and outside of that, it's great talking to you. Great seeing you and have a good rest of your week. Good luck on the exam. Thanks. Mm -hmm.